favorite way to make caramel apples. It's like the no mess way. You just take your favorite caramel, you take your favorite apples, you get some sprinkles, some candy corn, some chocolate syrup for those who don't like caramel. I always thought there should be an alternative for people who don't like caramel and just want chocolate. So chocolate on it. Granny Smith apples is honestly the best thing in the world. So you take your potato chips because who doesn't like salty with sweet? Everybody does, all right? Everybody in this whole universe likes salty and sweet. So you just put your caramel in here. And I think this is fun for kids because they get to mash up chips. Okay, and the best part is, this is a two-in-one dessert. Well, actually three-in-one, because we got chocolate and, well, four-in-one, chocolate and caramel. And then the chips get so scrumdily umptious afterwards. So you're not gonna throw these chips away. You're gonna eat these chips. Okay, you're gonna take this pan and you're gonna cover it with parchment paper because we all know that caramel is so sticky. So we're putting the parchment paper here, all right? Now, we're gonna set, set this one aside. Oh, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna tip this one over. Ready? Tip it over. One, two, three. Boom, just like that. And now, we're gonna really squish it in. Make sure we get all the caramel out there. And then we're gonna just slowly peel back all these goodies. Yep, just like this. Peel it back, peel it back. Oh, oh my word, that looks so good. Everyone's gonna think this is delicious. Okay, and we just make sure these are covered. And you're like, okay, great, now what do we do? Well, I'll tell ya. You're gonna take these apples out. Look at that, that is so good, so yummy. And now you're gonna set it to the side so that one can dry by itself. Okay, move these chips back. Grab this guy. Whoop, make sure you wash your hands before you start. Okay, look. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yummy caramel apple. Look, and I know you've got these yummy caramel chips. Look at this one. This one is the best one. That's the best one by far. That one turned out beautiful. So we've got our caramel apples and our caramel chips. Whoa. Okay, so then we're just gonna kind of mix these together. So we want the caramel to get on all of these because we love caramel flavored chips. And you're gonna wanna make sure you wash your hands again, like I said before. And then we've got, look at this, caramel apple chips. And if you want to make these a little spicier, you just add the rest of this caramel onto these chips. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, yum. Bow, bow, bow. What's that? I forgot what that is. Okay, and then you're just gonna mix these up. And if you're like, wait, this apple didn't get enough, that's fine, we'll just roll these in this till it gets what you're looking for, okay? Brilliant. That's perfect. All of these are perfect. Okay, now we're gonna go wash our hands and do our next pan. One, two, three. Excellent. <gasps> yum, 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 yum. Chocolate and chips. Who doesn't like it? I don't know who. Okay, so again, we're gonna make sure we get these all covered. And now you've got chocolate apple. Okay, chocolate, that one didn't, this didn't work as well. So let's admit that to ourselves and say, all right, this did not work as well. Which is fine, we can just wash these apples on. Ah, uh, it didn't work, but what do we still have? Chocolate chips, which is funny because they're not chocolate chips, but they're chocolate chips. Huh, Larry S. Kate, you are one clever little girl. Okay, that's it. That's, that's the easiest way to make caramel apples. These ones aren't caramel, obviously, but the other ones are. So let's look at them together. I'll grab them. Look at these yummy creations that we've just created. Yum! Look at these apples. So those are the caramel apples with the caramel chips. These are the chocolate ones. So these ones didn't turn out as well. I think I needed to use hot fudge instead of the chocolate syrup. But look at how good these ones look. Those look incredible. I wanna eat those right now. Yum. You can thank me later for this 